Hello, in this video, I will uh, show you how to use Excel Miner uh, to obviously uh, fit a forecasting model on S&P 500. And then uh, I will also show you how to analyze error after uh, fitting a model and investigate whether uh, the error has any other autocorrelation variables or not. So this is the data set, uh, S&P 500. This has two variables. One is the date and the other is close. Um, this data set has um, around 100 data points uh, starting from uh, May 1995 to uh, August 2003. So uh, to do that, uh, what I will do is I will go and uh, go to Excel Miner. So uh, there are various things uh, we can fit in this model. Uh, we can think of uh, fitting um, an ACF plot uh, uh, at the error term. Uh, we can use, um, uh, we, can, we can actually obviously do a naive forecast. To do a naive forecast, uh, we can actually use a, a simply a lag term of the, the data set. So let's, let's say uh, I just put, uh, create a new variable called naive NF to, uh, to determine, uh, to tell us uh, it's a naive forecast. Then copy the data points uh, from uh, May 95 and then just paste uh, with a lag. So, um, so obviously uh, it for, for June 1st and uh, for, for June 1995, the, for a naive forecast, uh, the value will be uh, what was in May 1995. So if I want to determine the error, of this particular model uh, is just the difference uh, between uh, the actual and the forecasted value. So what you see here is a very simple form of to determine, uh, um, to actually um, fit a naive forecast model in a data set. So the next step we will do is, uh, is to, uh, to check whether this error term has any and has any autocorrelation uh, left or not. Before we do that, we can actually plot it. We can select error in this particular uh, column, click on uh, the insert, and we just plot the error terms. So here are your error term. And the last row needs to be deleted because uh, th there is no data points uh, after August 2003. So here is your mod. So this is how your uh, error of this naive forecast looks like. So one thing we can check is to see whether the, uh, uh, the ACF or autocorrelation plot, how it looks like for this particular uh, naive forecasting model. To do that, I will go to Excel Miner platform, go to Arima. Under Arima, we have something called autocorrelations. Uh, for the autocorrelations, I want to make sure I tell the program that we're looking at the error term. That's my input variable. And it says that the variable cannot has some missing values. And that's because if you look at the value for May 1995, uh, the error has a missing value. So I'll just change this uh, data range uh, from D, uh, D3 to D101. And then I'll just uh, select um, this error, and that should work. Uh, that is my variable name, value. And then I will, um, so this, uh, what I have done is I just told the program that the data set uh, um, I want to investigate in terms of its autocorrelation components. Uh, it's from D3 uh, to D101. Uh, D3 is the error term uh, for the June 1995, and D101 is the error term at the last data point, which is, which is in 2003. When I do that, uh, it will show you the variable. Uh, there is no name. Uh, it's called var1 uh, because uh, the data points are from 3 to 101, and the name of that column is in D1. Okay. Then the next thing we will do is identify the number of lags uh, we want in this particular analysis. 
and as a baseline given it's a monthly data set I would suggest you that you include uh, 12 as your lag and then click OK so what you see here is is a nice output uh, talking about uh, the correlations of different lag terms uh, as you can see uh, uh, the only correlation which is significant is at the lag zero which is at the point it, the data point at its own uh, time period uh, and the, the way to investigate whether the any type of lag values are correlated or not uh, we want to uh, check whether any of these correlation values uh, is above or below the the lower and upper estimate line these are 95 percent uh, an estimate line and uh, having any value that it crosses the lines uh, suggests that the correlation is significant if it is below uh, if it is within the band uh, um, um, your lower and upper um, uh, estimate bands um, uh, then then there is no correlation uh, present in the data set <clears throat> So the next thing uh, we will talk about, so it looks like in this particular uh, ACF plot, uh, there is no correlation. I mean, um, there's nothing that is above or below the band. Uh, so the next thing we'll talk about in this particular data set uh, will be uh, fitting uh, mm, um, 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 a random walk. Uh, if you recall um, in the class, a random walk is an AR1 model. Uh, where the estimate for the AR component is 1 or close to 1. So in this case, there are many ways of doing it. Okay, uh, the, the simplest form will be to just fit an, uh, an AR1 model uh, in your actual Y, which is close, and just check whether, um, whether the, the estimate for that model is close to 1 or not. So uh, what I will do is I'll go to Excel Miner, uh, go to Arima, and then Arima models and AR1 um, just make sure that uh, the data is what it is uh, so my DV is close my time is date and I'm fitting an AR1 model so auto regressive value will be 1 and then everything else will be 0 uh, 0 for the difference 0 for the moving average and then next I'm going to go to advanced and I will say provide me the output values and the residuals. It is it's a, it's a good exercise to uh, select this particular output because uh, we want to obviously do an ACF plot of the residual just to make sure there is nothing left and the error is close to a true error. I'll click OK and then I'll also click on this OK. And then it will give you outputs. Uh, the one thing I'll be interested in will be the looking at the spreadsheet arima underscore output and look at this particular coefficient, uh, 0.9847. Now this is the beta coefficient for the term AR1 and, which is, and as it is very close to 1, uh, it looks like the, the data set we have here is, uh, is, is a random walk. Now, random walk has a couple of things to talk about, and that's obviously what we have done in the class. But it's a very easy test to check whether the, whether the data set has any kind of, a, 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 whether the data set is a random walk or not. Thank you for watching this.